Earlier today, um, on the undercard, actually, it was the chief support to uh, Katie Taylor versus Chantel Cameron. Chantel Cameron got a majority decision victory over Katie Taylor. But in the fight before that, 135-pound contender, Eddie Hearn fighter, Irish fighter. This fight happened in uh, Dublin, by the way. Conor Maker was uh, ringside. I called this card the uh, Irish bash-up because... UK fighters been getting their ass whooped by Mexican fighters. But in this case, you had a card that was dedicated to Irish fighters. And the three fights, the Dennis Hogan versus um, uh, James Metcalf, he got beat up for, what was that, 10 rounds? Gary Cully but got stopped by Jose Felix in three rounds. We're going to show you a little bit of that right here. Let me show you a little clip. Hopefully the zone doesn't stop it. But yeah, man. This was a disaster of an event for uh, Matchroom and um, okay, the world. Oh! Look, oh, Now this is when he got stopped. Now mind you, he took it. He was already on shaky legs after he got dropped early. I'm gonna show you that clip as well. But look at this shot he took. Now mind you, he was still getting his ass whipped after his team threw in the tile, but the referee didn't see it. So no care in the world. Oh, that's crazy. crazy. He's oh. hurt. Stop. Brilliant follow up by Felix here. That's cut. Sheesh. So he was ranked, by the way, he's six foot two, fighting at 135 pounds. To put things into perspective, Tank Davis, and I met him in person, he's about five foot four. Lomachenko is about five foot five. Devin Haney's about five foot eight. Okay. George Camboso is about five foot six or so. Remember, he was wearing the lifts uh, at that first Tiafimo Lopez press conference um, when um, the fight was supposed to be on. Uh, triller right now well before the fight he wasn't ranked by the wbc he was ranked fucking wba he was ranked number uh nine by the wba not by the ibf and number 13 by the um uh wbo now jose felix he's been around for quite some time i remember when he first fought for top ranking at that point in time he was undefeated what card was this when he took his first loss so uh, uh, Bradley Pac Pacquiao, was that the third one? So what I'm saying is he's somewhat of a seasoned uh, fighter, but a dangerous fighter nonetheless. And it's something about these uh, Mexican fighters is that once they go over to the UK, they just start, you know, just wrecking on uh, Irish fighters. He did land with a left hand, but immediately but yeah, he was Felix out. He was holding on. And he takes a good look at him here. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. Now, here's the other shot. The second shot in that same sequence. Now, he finally got the break because he was holding on um, uh, for dear life. And, and he takes a good look at him here. He's Bang. in trouble. He's in trouble. Swinging wildly here. Referee. Look, he's, he's done. He's finished. He's cooked. So, here was the card. Uh, I Unfortunately, I was asleep. So I didn't get to see the other cards. By the way, it was supposed to be uh, Cecilia uh, Terry Harper versus Cecilia Bracus on this card. But uh, Cecilia Bracus pulled out the day of the fight, um, citing a uh, illness, you know, basically uh, like a cold, flu, COVID, you know, uh, wish the best to her. Terry Harper supposed to be returning next week in a uh, in a uh, turnaround. So, yeah, I just thought I'd give a, a recap on that. And as far as Gary Cully is concerned, back to the drawing board. You know, he never really did anything for me to consider him good. I mean, Miguel Vasquez, you know, he was working his way up. But this was a devastating loss for this fighter at this point in time in his career. Uh, crazy uh, uh, alias, Gary the Diva Cully. So, yeah, this was a disastrous card for uh, uh, Matchroom and the uh, Irish boxing fans. And the Irish fighters he was supposed to win in three back-to-back -back fights. Dennis Hogan lost to James Metcalf. That was like, okay, all right. You had um, uh, Gary Curley get brutally stopped out on his feet. And then you had uh, uh, Katie Taylor lose 96-94, six rounds to four. It could have been seven rounds to three, for real, for real, against Chantel Cameron. They're going to be rematching sometime in the fall, also in Dublin. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the Irish bash-up. And uh, follow me on Twitter, at T-Street Controversy.